the video shown during the trial is one of the most chilling things I've ever seen in my professional career. This man will spend the rest of his life in prison for killing two women in San Carlos Park. A Lee County judge made that decision this afternoon. A jury found Ethan Cartwright guilty of killing his girlfriend and Flurry and her mother. It happened back in November of 2021. Tonight, ABC 7's Samantha Romero is in studio. And Sam, you talked to the family of the victims tonight. Some family members told me they believe justice has been served. But when I sat down with Ann Fleury's father tonight, he told me the sentence will never bring back his daughter and her mother. So Cartwright should have faced the same fate. One, you will serve a period of life incarceration as a minimum mandatory. Ethan Cartwright, motionless, standing in front of a judge, hearing he will spend every last minute of his life in prison. Mr. Cartwright, the video shown during the trial is one of the most chilling things I've ever seen in my professional career. A judge sentenced Ethan Cartwright the maximum possible sentence. A jury convicted Cartwright in June of killing his girlfriend, Anne Marielle Fleury, and her mother, Jean Pierre Charles Andre. Yes, she was very passionate. She was caring for people. For some family members, in my heart was beeping. I was in shock. This sentence was like a weight off their shoulders. Justice being done, I give God praise. I say, thank you, God. But tonight, Anne's dad, Remy Fleury, told me he doesn't believe justice has been served. Understand. The judge, the judge said that the was video in her in nervous song. And the crime he committed was first degree, second degree murder. That's what, what I feel confused. In court, Cartwright issued an apology to Anne's family. Remy's message to Cartwright? I would say, unfortunately, kill himself to, make me, to give me a chance to, to, to live. Both Anne's father and aunt told me tonight the Department of Children and Families took custody of Anne's two kids. They're doing everything possible to see them again. In studio, Samantha Romero, ABC7.